Good morning. Our intercessor upon the Lord chose him for himself as high priest, and opening his treasure house, made him rich in all good things. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, rich in mercy, who willed that Pope St. John Paul II should preside over your universal church, grant, we pray, that, instructed by his teaching, we may confidently open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole Redeemer of the human race, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him, who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us to be to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen the word of the lord thanks be to god the responsorial psalm, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nations whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and persevere them, preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, or two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. When we hear this gospel this morning, it can be rather unsettling because at first blush, it speaks to us just of the opposite of what we think we ought to be achieving as disciples of Christ Jesus. Not division, but a matter of trying to bring people to be loving towards one another, to be a people who truly love their neighbor as they love themselves and as they love their God. But again, the point that Christ is making here is that there needs to be a purification. First, people need to come to understand who the Christ is. And then in understanding who the Christ is and what the way of the Lord is, then to live it and live it with conviction. It really harkens back to those words that we hear in Paul to the Ephesians this morning. Rooted and grounded in love, may you have the strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length, the height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Our life as we live it is to draw us into that union with God. We become one with him. And in doing that, well, if we are doing it faithfully, it is likely that we will run into people who cannot understand that way of the Lord. And we may well create some division. But we are called to understand that love of Christ that surpasses knowledge and to live it with conviction. Let us bring our needs to the Father in anticipation of his bountiful providence. For those called to the priesthood or religious vocations, may God continue to grant them a spirit of faithfulness and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who govern, May the Holy Spirit bless them with an abundance of understanding and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For the young people of our community, may God's voice always resound clearly in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, 
especially Jordan Monday. Let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of this Mass, Irvin Ball, Vince Struenberg. Let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. We join in our vocation prayer. God, our, our Father, Father, we beg you, you for an increase in religious vocations. vocations. Help, Help our, our people, people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for in your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, which earth has given the human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed Saint Pope John Paul II, a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint John Paul II, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed St. John Paul II burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.